The Dutch Slave Coast Dutch, refers to the trading posts of the Dutch West India Company on the Slave Coast, which lie in contemporary Ghana, Benin, Togo and Nigeria. The primary purpose of the trading post was to supply slaves for the plantation colonies in the Americas. Dutch involvement on the Slave Coast started with the establishment of a trading post in Afra in 1660. Later, trade shifted to Ouida, where the English and French also had a trading post. Political unrest caused the Dutch to abandon their trading post at Ouida in 1725, now moving to Jakim, at which place they built Fort Zeelandia. By 1760, the Dutch had abandoned their last trading post in the region. The Slave Coast was settled from the Dutch Gold Coast, on which the Dutch were based in Elmina. During its existence, the Slave Coast held a close relationship to that colony. History According to various sources, the Dutch West India Company began sending servants regularly to the Ajalan capital of Alada from 1640 onward. The Dutch had in the decades before begun to take an interest in the Atlantic slave trade due to their capture of northern Brazil from the Portuguese. Willem Bosman writes in his Nowcourage Beschreibung van de Guinea's Goad Tand and Slavecast that Alada was also called Grand Ardra, being the larger cousin of Little Ardra, also known as Afra. From 1660 onward, Dutch presence in Alada and especially Afra became more permanent. A report from this year asserts Dutch trading posts, apart from Alada and Afra, in Benin City, Grand Popo, and Savi. The Afra trading post soon became the most important Dutch office on the Slave Coast. According to a 1670 report, annually 2,500 to 3,000 slaves were transported from Afra to the Americas and writing of the 1690s, Bosman commented of the trade at Fida, "...markets of men are here kept in the same manner as those of beasts are with us." Numbers of slaves declined in times of conflict. From 1688 onward, the struggle between the Asia king of Alada and the peoples on the coastal regions, impeded the supply of slaves. The Dutch West India Company chose the side of the Asia king, causing the Afra office to be destroyed by opposing forces in 1692. After this debacle, Dutch involvement on the slave coast came more or less to a halt. During his second voyage to Benin, David van Nyendale visited the king of Benin in Benin City. His detailed description of this journey was included as an appendix to Willem Bosman's Nowcourage beschreiving Van de Guinea's Goad Tand and Slavecast His description of the kingdom remains valuable as one of the earliest detailed descriptions of Benin, on the instigation of Governor-General of the Dutch Gold Coast Willem de la Palma, Jacob van den Broek was sent in 1703 as Head merchant to the Dutch trading post at Ouida, which according to sources was established around 1670. Ouida was also the place where English and French traded slaves, making this place the likely candidate for the new main trading post on the slave coast. Political unrest was also the reason for the Ouida office to close in 1725. The company this time moved their headquarters to Jakim, situated more easterly. The head of the post, Hendrik Hertog, had a reputation for being a successful slave trader. In an attempt to extend his trading area, Hertog negotiated with local tribes and mingled in local political struggles. He sided with the wrong party, however, leading to a conflict with Director General Jan Pronger and to his exile to the island of Appa in 1732. The Dutch trading post on this island was extended as the new centre of slave trade. In 1733, Hertog returned to Jakim, this time extending the trading post into Fort Zeelandia. The revival of slave trade at Jakim was only temporary, however, as his superiors at the Dutch West India Company noticed that Hertog's slaves were more expensive than at the Gold Coast. From 1735, Elmina became the preferred spot to trade slaves. Trading posts equals equals notes